I figured something was wrong. Yep. Okay, I think I'm live on Facebook. Did you get a notification that you yep. that recorded? Okay, yep. good. All right. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to close Facebook. So I'm not going to be able to see any comments through Facebook, but um, I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, that's cool. And you can just say, you know, Susie Q wanted to know. All right. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> I intended to be here right at six o'clock and I was like, oh, I actually have 30 extra seconds. I'm going to go heat up my coffee. <laughs> so cheers and welcome to my stamp room. My name is Celine Kempton. I am an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up. I have a beautiful class to share with you tonight. We um, did it last Sunday at my team meeting as well. Uh, so we're just gonna go through the cards. Um, you do have the opportunity to get a make and take packet mailed to you. Um, if you spend $35, I will mail you a packet that looks like this. It's already prepped and ready for you to go. Um, and you see the little embellishment. I've included your ribbon and your embellishments. You need to assemble the card class as is. What you would need um, would be three ink pads, Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, and Pretty Peacock. I like to alphabeticalize them. <laughs> I want Cajun craze on top. I know. Crazy, huh? <laughs> I see Bonnie shaking her head, but yeah, yeah. Um, makes sense, right? So you know what you need. Um, just three colors of ink and this gorgeous stamp set. It's called Thoughtful Expressions. Um, what really drew me to this was the die cuts. They're just gorgeous. Oh, Bonnie, I like your cup. <laughs> Bonnie has my logo cup. Oh, and I've got one too. So I'll say cheers, but mine has fruit punch in it. So they won't be able to see it. Um, we're coming up. It's only going to be, if I drink enough fruit punch, you'll be able to see the logo because it's red, um, but it's all good. Um, retreat is coming up in three weeks. And a lot of times I will give logo items to our attendees as gifts and I'll have, I have to say the wine glasses was one of my favorites. Um, the deadline to sign up for retreat is coming up and I'm gonna be sending the last call for that March retreat this week. And I'm already working on some moveless <laughs> prizes. It, the, the theme is crafting till the cows come home. So I have some really spectacular things that I'm working on for that. So I'm excited. All right. so. Here's our stamp set. I really do like the words. Um, where in the world would I be without you? Well, I feel that way about so many people. <laughs> Some of you that are right here. Uh, you're in my thoughts today. Enjoy your day. And sometimes there are no words. Fortunately, I need a card like that this week. Okay. So I'm going to change the spotlight over. And um, if you have questions, you can type them here in the chat in Zoom. If you're on Facebook, you may um, notice it takes a little bit of time for Cheryl to get me those questions. She, she can unmute herself and read them to me here in the Zoom room. Or you can come over and ask them yourself. So at the end, um, we're going to have an Ask Me Anything um, within reason session. And if I know the answer, I'll be happy to help and share, of course. No business coaching tonight. Tonight is about crafting. Um, so let's get moving. All right. So, ha, see, now I get two cameras. I feel all fancy and stuff. It would have only, it would have never happened this way had Facebook said, no, you're not going live today. All right. So you see my gorgeous glass mat here. I'm going to go this way so that I can avoid the glare from my light. Um, but this mat you can only get for free right now if you sign up to be a demonstrator. I'll get to all of that later, but um, I love my mat and I really hope that they go on sale to the general public after because I think that they would sell like hotcakes. Um, all right, so this is card one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go through one at a time. And um, this is my mom's old couch color, <laughs> Moody Mauve. It's my, it, it is such a pretty card. And who would think to put Cajun craze and mauve together? 
So we used Cajun Craze ink pad on this one. And this one has a special fun fold in that it folds forward here and it opens like a flyer. Now, um, I know that um, I have a couple of new people, including uh, my sister who said that she was going to try and hop on tonight. Um, so I'm going to go right back to the beginning and let you know that um, it starts with cutting the paper. And um, I use the trimmer like this one to cut and score your paper um, to the measurements that we'll talk about. Um, but a standard card size is eight and a half by five and a half, and you score it down the middle at four and a quarter. Sorry for those of you that are experts and you already know all this, but this is kind of a cool fun fold in that I cut an inch off the front of my card, right? So now it's seven and a half instead of eight and a half, okay? And then I scored an inch on this side. So um, this card is so simple in that you can just layer a three quarter inch piece of designer paper here and you've got your mechanism. And then the piece that we're gonna stick to the front only sticks to that front, which makes this kind of look like a backdrop little stage for our bird to fly off. Um, and I just love this card. So we'll start there. It is a fun fold, but it's not a difficult one. You figure it's the same as any card base. You cut an inch off and you score on the back side. So easy to copy too. So for those of you that are demonstrators that are running your classes, by all means, copy away. All right, so I'm gonna pick up only from the card base, all of my packets are stack stuffed. Now, what do I mean by that? I stack the first card on top. I used to put them in the envelopes um, and then you'd have to take them out of the envelopes. And it added about two hours of prep per class just to put the cards in the envelopes. So now I just stack them. So just be careful when you take out the pieces because there's quite a few pieces in here. I have this embossed piece this new embossing folder. If you missed the complete supply list, I posted it to the group, um, the Facebook group. And um, I will also email it out to all of my email subscribers when we are done with tonight's workshop. All right, so then you got, um, these are the shapes I was talking about in this thoughtful expressions bundle. This is the whole reason. In fact, I bought two sets of dies because I knew that I would want to be cutting multiples and sometimes uh, time is more important than the cost of an extra set of dies. Okay, and then I have two pieces of paper here in white. I have three pieces of um, cut designer paper. These came out of the um, Daisy paper, which is actually the main catalog. And I am super thrilled at how they came together when I was designing this. So let's jump in and do some stamping. Um, I buried my ink pad. I did that earlier during the live and I actually had to go find another ink pad because I completely lost it. I did find it when I was cleaning up underneath everything. All right. But that's what we do when we craft, we make a mess. So I put this on a larger block. This is um, an E block um, because it didn't quite fit on D. And I inked up backwards because I die cut these out for you. So it's much easier um, for you to get a, a kit in the mail if you're not worried about having to buy everything. You, you only need the stamp set and the ink for this to be able to make them and the blocks as shown. So. I dropped the um, hummingbird on top of the image that I inked up. And then I'm just going to use another block to pretend that that's my table. And then that makes it super easy to transfer the ink onto the white. Now, um, at home, I use Stampin' Mist and Scrub when I am done with my images to clean them. Um, if I am in a workshop, or in a bigger app, uh, like a bigger venue, I will do uh, our stamp and chamois with water. But before I put them away, I clean and condition them with the mist. I did a whole video on how to clean your blocks and why I use the mist over just using plain water. Um, 
but I can point you to that if anybody's interested after the workshop. It's one of my lives. So um, I'm going to tell you a, another little bit about this hummingbird. If you can avoid completely coloring him, he's going to look better. You see how there's sections of him that are completely white? When we were in kindergarten, our uh, teachers taught us to color every ounce of available space. Well, I'm sure if Bonnie had students, she didn't. Um, <laughs> I know Bonnie's a school teacher. Um, but as um, you get older and as you start to see like watercolor and artwork, if you can avoid certain areas, it will actually help your image pop more. So I didn't do anything on his face, but I took everything behind his neck. And then I did parts of his um, wing here, but any place where the artist used more concentrated ink is where I'm going to concentrate on. And then um, I'm actually gonna use the back side of this to, um, brush off the color. And then I can add more Wink Costello, which this is just a glitter brush. Um, so this would be another something you might wanna pick up on your order. And if you can't get it, let me know because I, I might have a couple in my drawer. Um, I know that if they've been on back order for a couple of months. And I asked, but they don't know, so. All right, so there's the top of that. And I think I'm gonna stop right there. I don't want to put any more color or take away from him. He's so pretty all on his own here. Let me give you a close up. Yep. Okay, something's going on my phone. It's giving me a message. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wants me to join an audio. That would be bad. All right, isn't that pretty? I'm actually glad that we came to Zoom. I think that the uh, video content is so much better. All right. It's funny what happens by accident. All right, so then you have this shape. And what I did was I took it, there was four corners, so to speak, where it looks like they're like top and bottom to me and side to side. So when I do my stamping, I'm gonna stamp this so that it's that way. And I love that these nest. And this is just gonna go in the middle, but I'm gonna push it off to the side just a little bit and stamp because now I'll have room to put my guy on. Any questions so far? All right. Now I feel like we should have a chat because it's gonna take me a second to put this together. I am using liquid glue. Um, because I'm going to build this trio first. And then I'm going to use the liquid glue along the side of my hummingbird. So I don't always use liquid glue, but I do sometimes when I want it to be like repositionable for a second. Um, if I know that I'm going to be so he, I did the words off to the side. If you did it in the middle, it's okay. Um, but I think it looks cool off to the side because it gives him room. All right, so then the next bit, we're gonna put um, designer paper on that little flap I talked about. So here's my card base, which is now seven and a half instead of eight and a half because I cut an inch off. And I scored it at one inch on this side and then four and a quarter in half, right? So this piece just gets layered on the front. And if your flowers are going a certain direction, you'll know that you like it better one way or another. Make sure you do it so that it's up. So this one is gonna go at the top of one of the white pieces here. And, um. When you do place an order, there is a full PDF with photos and measurements. So if you want to recreate this, you can. I cut the white and the designer paper on two different paper cutters. So you may have noticed that I just trimmed a little bit off. You can do that, no big deal. And I'm going to put this in my inside of my card.
So this is the, what the inside looks like completely. You're gonna put all three pieces. Super pretty, super simple. You could do this for anything. In fact, the, the layout idea came from a girl that's on my team, Robin, who made me a fun fold card that opened like this way. And when I saw this hummingbird, I thought it would look cool if he was flying. So I went the other way and I, and I do like it that way because it makes some, a little stage for him. It would be cute. You know, those, um, the little kid stamp set with all the kids in the designer paper, you could build the kids a stage and then have, have the kids standing on the stage when it opens. It would be great for, um, kids cards for grandkids or. Even my daughter, she's 19, but she's um, going to be doing lighting for Rocky Horror Picture Show. Wouldn't that be fun to do some sort of Rocky Horror uh, card for her that opens that way like a stage? Okay, so here we go. So the, the designer paper is on that embossing folder adds so much to the front. This folds back. And now the only place where I'm going to put adhesive on this is on the very bottom. Because otherwise I'll stick my card shut. So this gets attached to that bottom one inch flap and it, it opens like that. Super cool. All right, so that's the first card, fun fold. Oh, that's funny. Nested adhesive holders. All right, we've got Azure next. This one also used all Cajun craze, um, which is pretty cool. There we go. So um, I'm going to do the, the funky one first because, you know, anybody who thinks that they can't looks at this and gets really nervous, but it's really not. You take the shape, you make sure that the front is lined up, and whatever you do, just commit and drop it because it's going to go on a white piece that's underneath it and it's going to look good as long as you commit to it. See, I even dropped it and it's fine. Okay. Same thing with this. I didn't go too crazy with the coloring. Wow. This one looks much darker than my original. Look at them side by side, but maybe it will oxidize once I, um, once I, once it dries a little bit. But for this one, I colored all the leaves first. You can hear the heat coming up from my mother-in-law's house. So if you hear the little noises in the background, that's what that is. Shout out to my hubby, Brian. Um, I was planning to drive to Waltham after my workshop tonight, which is about 45 minutes from here to move my mom's car out of a parking lot after we were supposed to get a snow event today and it was kind of a dud. And he he went so that I can do my workshop and actually have dinner at a reasonable hour. So shout out to supportive husbands everywhere. Supportive partners, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I got my flower colored and I probably colored more than I did on the original. Um, you can do to taste when you're doing it, but again, I would implore you if you can possibly not color the whole thing in, you might um, feel better about your final results afterwards. It, it definitely looks more grown up if, I, if that makes any sense. So you're in my thoughts today. Um, I'm stamping on the bottom right hand side. Somebody at my team meeting stamped it upside down. So it was, she went, um, so you it pretend I went upside down. She put her flower on the bottom side instead of on the top. So if you do that at home, you already have a solution. I stuck these two things together and added the dimensionals to the back of this layer. 
And then again, uh, designer paper is cut on a different paper cutter. So if it's a tiny bit long, you can give it a trim. This one's worked out perfect, so. But I did have one at the meeting that was a tiny bit longer. So I thought I would mention to you in case your packet is not perfect. It was hand cut for you. <laughs> okay, so that's that. That layers on the front, and then this goes on with Stampin' Dimensionals. Speaking of Valentine's Day, there is a direct correlation on how many dimensionals you use with how much you love someone. And since I love everybody, we'll just load this sucker up. But no matter how many dimensionals you use, that's just about the support underneath. Really, I am just going to peel off the outside corners. So I don't have to feel like I need to get them all off. It's not about stick, it's plenty sticky. It's more about height. So um, once I get the four corners done, I can just flip it over. And you're welcome because you'll find less of those around your house now. Although I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't promise that they're all over my house. <laughs> ah, my my uh, little embellishments here. These come with the pack, but of course, if you spend fifty instead of thirty-five, I'm going to send you a full package of these instead, so um, you can bedazzle to your heart's delight on your cards, but then you can keep going and use them for some other things too. And again, that's using the host code. So I use the host code so that I can um, earn those items and send them back to you. Okay, so that's card number two. Oh. All right, card number three, it has the pretty peacock base. And then this big piece goes inside. And um, this shape, so this is another one of those shapes, it's the same shape as the other ones, but the, I don't know what it is about the little one that makes me so happy. It is nested. But it, they also have these shapes in there. So um, it's a very dynamic set. And I hope that if it ever goes out that we get to keep the dies. Please stamp it up. It's just nice size for stamp and sentiments. Okay, so this is the Pretty Peacock ink pad. And I'll get those off my, out of my way because you know I'll put my hand on them otherwise. All right, so for this one, I cut the designer paper. I, it kind of looks like a movie strip. It goes from edge to edge. And again, if it's too long, and it is, haha, -ha, you just have to trim. Um, I have a new paper cutter for cardstock, and I haven't been cutting the designer paper with it because it's just faster to go the other way. So. Super simple, you put one side right to the edge and then you flip it over and use the back to kind of just make it perfect. But it looks like a film strip. So it's just the top and bottom that are showing that white. And then I love the, uh, the lemon so much, I wanted to bring that in. Uh, the lemon that's in the middle of the designer paper there. I'm. You know, for all these years, we've used daffodil, and it's nice, but I love this lemon molly. It is just such a perfect, sweet little yellow. You get this big, long piece of ribbon to tie yourself a bow. A lot of times I'll tie your bows, but I wanted you to tie this one because this ribbon is so easy to put your fingers around. Because of the gold running through it, it has these little grippies in it. Um, so it makes it super simple to tie a pretty bow and not worry about it. So I'm just tying my shoes here. Um, 
there's I do loop swoop and pull but you could definitely do bunny ears and have the same pretty result if you need to adjust your bow because nobody ties a pretty bow out of the gate you just hold on to the knot and um, pull the end so that it will hopefully loosen up less as you go and at the end you just tighten up your knot so People, people often ask me how I can tie such a small bow um, by hand, and that's my trick. I just keep um, holding the knot and pulling the ends until I like it, and then I commit and cut off the excess. And I did give you quite a bit extra, just because I don't want you to have to worry about being able to get your fingers around it, but it's a, it's a fun ribbon to work with. Okay. So this is going to get stuck to the front of my project but my card base and all of these pieces have been cut for you um, to make it simple so you can just have fun and get your creative juices going okay so now we've got these two pieces um sometimes there's no words it's funny i just bought a book um, because I make so many cards, but I never know what to write in them. And I just bought this book on what to say when you don't have the right words. <laughs> I look at my husband, what, what should we write? I don't know. So I'm like, well, we better get the book. Okay. And then dimensionals. Charlotte, you got any questions for me so far? Nope, they just like the cards and are uh, glad to be here. Oh, I'm so happy. Very pretty colors, they said. Oh my gosh, they are. And who would put mauve with um, Cajun craze? Like, it, I, the only thing that guided me on putting those two colors together was the designer paper, and it still blows my mind that it all works. But that's a great thing for beginners to just pick up the paper and use the colors that are in it. Yep, exactly. Um, and, you know, when I design, um, unless you really know, like, what you want, two colors in a neutral are the way to go. Like, so even if the designer paper, like the new one, it has, I think it has like 10 colors, the ones that we just were able to pre-order as demonstrators. Um, I still didn't put it with more than two colors in a neutral. Um and I, I think Cheryl and I agree on our design concepts that if I'm using a color that I really should use it more than once, which is why this needed a yellow layer. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so I we use pretty peacock one, two, three times. The white is twice and the yellow is in the designer paper. So we're good. We've got, you know, and it, it's also kind of pulls out in the gold ribbon. But here, here's a close up for you. Beautiful. Yeah. And, and that ribbon, it's so, I promise, like it is the easiest thing to tie. So if you do end up with a packet, you'll be able to try it yourself and you'll be like, oh yeah, I need a roll of that. If you plan to cut it. Because <laughs> <laughs> collecting, collecting craft supplies and using them are two different hobbies. Right. Ah. So um, at the back of this envelope, you have four envelopes to use for your cards. And this is the final project, Sadness. I feel like that went so fast, but this was uh, really cool. So my friend Maria and I stuck these together for you. And when we were designing, she was here when I designed this. Um, I said, what do you think about embossing this layer so that they can have an embossed layer, but still stamp the words on that panel without having to worry about, um, you know, having it look funny or putting another layer. And she said that was brilliant. So we cut this layer of cardstock to go just above where the words are stamped. Um, and we didn't emboss the bottom on purpose. Now, if I can only stamp it so that it's right side up, we'll be good to go. Because, you know, when you're live and doing a video, anything can happen. Although, you know, we would just turn it upside down and it would go this way then. So it would be fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put that uh, strip of 
cardstock across. Actually, Bonnie was making a card the other day and she, we were talking about this, like this connects to the layer underneath it. So it kind of frames you up nice. And again, it's using that those colors more than once. Oh, I'm gonna use a Bonnie word. Bonnie, do you know what word I'm gonna use? Cattywapus. I am, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's cattywampus. All right, so I'm gonna start, that's funny. I love that word and I, I had never heard it before I met Bonnie, but cattywampus means crooked, right? Or off? Yeah, just not straight. Just it's not straight. That's perfect. That's a perfect description Cute. for this too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my ribbon here. And this ribbon is so pretty. It comes in azure, um, that baby pink, the new pink bubble bath, and then uh, the lemon lolly. And it's got this silver line through it. I, I know it's looking gold. It's pretty yellow in here tonight, but it's silver. It's so pretty. I think of... Um, baby blankets and baby cards. Oh, so pretty. Okay. So this layer is my cattywampus layer. And to make it easy, I'm going to take the, the top point and put it under my ribbon and not really worry about where it falls, except that I'd like to see this ribbon show up. And then this piece is gonna sit on top of it straight. So it frames it up really nice. And it shows off that designer paper from the main catalog with the daisies really well. Um, so for those of you that have been around for a while, our glue dots are now backwards. <laughs> for those of you that are brand new, yes. They're on this side. So what I do is I fold my glue dot backwards and then use it the way I used to, um, which is don't put your fingers on it. You put the glue dot on the ribbon and lift and then stick it where you'd like it. And I liked it right where everything intersects right there on the card. So if you want, you could, of course, add more Wink Stella because that goes on everything. So cool. Oh, and um, this also had gems, but where did they go? See, you gotta watch those gems. They get a, they get away from you. They might stick to your uh, sleeve. So what I do, I I do have a few people that struggle with the take your pick. This thing is kind of like um, putty, and it's only meant to help you pick stuff up. So you wanna get it as flat as possible. To advance it, you twist. At the minute it comes out, you back it off or it'll keep coming out and do the toothpaste thing. So get it nice and flat. And then you have these transfer sheets that your um, embellishments come on and you literally push it off the sheet as opposed to trying to pick it up. Um, so I wanted a big one and a little one. And so I just turned it around and gave it a push and there it goes. So there's my projects. <sighs> All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to flip. Oh, no, I don't have to flip the camera. I can leave You're it there. right there. I can come <laughs> talk to you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got to get used to that. Hold on. Um, yeah, let's do this. So cheers. Um, so we covered quite a bit. Um, if you're new to me or to Stampin' Up and you need help placing an order, please let me know because um, at $35, I'll send you a packet in the mail and that's really cool on itself. If you spend 50, you're gonna get the embellishment from me as well, but then you'll get to choose a free item from Celebration as a reward for placing an order. As a matter of fact, for every 50, you get a reward. 
um, or $100 respectively. There's a special catalog for that, or if you're online, you can choose under the tabs. So there's a, a $50 free and $100 free. There's actually new items. So even if you have a catalog in your hand, I would recommend going online and looking at the options that are available because there's some new ones. Um, of course, we have the glass mat offer, which is um, as if being on a Stampin' Up! team isn't the best offer anyway, because you get discounts on all your crafting supplies. You would get the glass mat. Um, you pick whatever you want, $125 in product. Um, so you could get the stamp set, you could get all the inks, you can get whatever you need to make cards, your, your trimmer, or maybe maybe you're looking to get a die cutting machine. It's a great way to get your die cut machine because you can reduce what you're spending over time. You get a 20% ongoing discount as long as you decide to stay um, and you can drop off whenever you want. You don't have to have parties. You don't have to have do, you don't have to do videos. Um, but if you like to craft, we have an awesome community. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my swap parade this month, but I plan to keep that up because it was the highlight of my month. Um, seeing everybody respond to my team's cards and how much they love them. So I'm going to keep doing that. Um, what else? Am I missing anything? I mean, there's so much to love about Stampin' Up. Um, I love the community. I, I, I started because of the discount and I stayed because of the people. So, um, yeah. So I think that's everything. I did do links for everything in the group before we started. Um, I could do a supply link if you need me to. Actually, I, I can do that now because my husband is a rock star and he went and picked up my mom and took care of her car. So we did have one question unrelated to the cards. Um, Debbie Bacon's asking, what's the difference between the hexagon punch and the tailored tag punch? Oh, tailored tag punch. Now there's tailored tag die. That's what I was going to say. There's tailored tag dies. Uh, and those are in the main catalog and those are, um, yeah, those are a, a main catalog item. Let me grab my book. Um, and then the hexagon punch, they're two, yeah, they're completely different. So, I don't, but um, hang on, let me, let me grab. I'll grab the catalog. <laughs> and we can look at it together because we've got, uh, we get the eyes in the sky here. Okay. So Taylor made tags is right here. So I get what you're saying. So I think I get what you're saying. So what I just used was the thoughtful expressions dies. Um, and those are in the, in the current mini catalog. These are all tags. So um, these are a little bit different. So the shapes are different. These have round and they have um, not tags, but um, they have labels that go back and forth. Let me get the other catalog too, so you can see them side by side. I think that's what you mean, because the hexagon punch is just a six-sided punch. It's not, but I do like punches. I, I have to say when they come out with punches, I buy them all. Um, hexagon punch is not, oh. It's in the new. All right, let me grab it. Page okay. 69. Ah, look at you. She knows her stuff. <laughs> well, I looked it up. That's good. It gives me a chance to grab it while I walk. Oh, I grabbed the Christmas one. Jeez. My hubby was helping me clean up and he put all the Christmas ones on top. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So page 69, right? Well, because for the team meeting we had, oh, okay. So heartfelt hexagon punch. So that's just one punch and it's that shape. I did a live with it though, um, with note cards and it's lovely. I do like it um, a lot. Um, 
And then the one we used tonight was thoughtful expressions. Hang on. There's just a lot to the thoughtful expressions ones. There, it's a completely different. Um, it's a completely different shape. And Debbie, I think I understand now. These have stitches on the sides. I don't know if you can see that good. Can you see that? There's like a little bit, yeah. They're they're like stitched dies. Actually, did I go backwards? I did look. I put it on the wrong side, but there you go. You can <laughs> see it there. But it has like a really pretty dotted stitched outline, and it's not a hexagon. It's it's like they're girly shapes. They're very Chris pretty. Chris saying that there is a a tailored something punch. Maybe it's retired. Hmm. But there's a tailored punch. Okay, well, yeah. here's, well, here's the dies that we used tonight to yeah, give you an idea. She said it wasn't the ones we were using tonight. Um, that's oh. why she said it. Yeah. What oh, is retired, the one she's comparing it to? Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, this one just makes me so happy, and I hope it never goes away. <laughs> because honestly, it is um, the shapes. You know, these labels, they make it so easy. So, um, for example, that one was on this one, and I layered this behind it with that. Um, and then the other one. Sorry if I didn't understand the question, but this was the that one. And boy, they're just so easy to work with. And I can see myself like going back and forth with them forever. Even if even if the uh, this guy goes out, I want these. <laughs> so. Any other questions? And Debbie, you can always like give me a call and hit me up for if you need help. Yeah, she's wondering if they're the same size as the punch, but I mean, they're not well, too far off. But... Yeah, no, these are nested. So um, here, all different. Let's do the smallest one is an inch and a quarter from top to bottom. So you know, it had like the the cross thing and then the largest one is like almost it's like three and five eighths um from top to bottom so and there's one two three four five six nestable circles there decorative circles and then this one is four by two and a half and then the smallest one is two and a quarter by one, if that's helpful. So our friend Trisha does have that retired punch, and she said it is a similar size to the Hartfeld hexagon punch. Oh, okay. She's trying to compare the two different punches. Oh, um, oh, oh. Yeah, and once, it, you know, once it retires, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm <fast. laughs> In fact, I will be offering a BOGO fairly soon. <laughs> so anyway, um, any other questions? I'm not well, seeing thank any. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all for being here. This is a different format, but I kind of liked it. Here, let's go back to the, um, let's remove the spotlights and we can see everybody and just say hi. And um, yeah, so thanks everybody. I hope you have a wonderful night. Oh, and there was some chat in here. Hi. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, stud muffin to the rescue. Yep. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful night.